Today I'm staying at Reed's Hotel, which is on the outskirts of Santa Maria in Mallorca. And it's a family-run hotel. The family running it originally come from Britain. Uh, the house is a very interesting property. Parts of it date back to the 1500s and it's been gradually restored over time from a very derelict property some years ago to uh, what is now part of the Rilleon Chateau uh, group of hotels. We're staying in a suite. This is our main living room. Hope the light's going to behave because it's wonderful light. So you can see you've got very traditional beams here and they're married up with totally contrasting modern artwork. It's a very nice study area over here which is the Wi-Fi um, in this part of the hotel is brilliant, so um, great if you've got to catch up on work or emails. And two very comfortable sofas. The hotel has its own vineyard and has been producing wine for a few years now. We had a bottle of house wine when we arrived. And Vino Tinto. It's a very bright day today. It's towards the end of June, so uh, it's extremely hot. Out here you have a view of steps going up to the spa, the Vespasian spa, where I had a lovely facial yesterday. They use the spa products. It was um, extremely good. I've got problematic skin and it was very calming. You can just see the little glimpse of blue through there, which is the the front of the spa. And then as you look up higher, you can see the outline of the Tramontana Mountains. It's the main mountain range in Mallorca. Beautiful mountainous region, and we're just at the, uh, the one end of it. If you hear some building works, they've just started doing a few bits in the garden, so it's uh, just ignore that. It's not representative of anything. Lots of lovely bird sounds. Beautiful blue Mallorcan sky. And just up the stairs to the right is the outdoor pool. There's an indoor pool in the Vespasian Spa itself, which has uh, quite impressive murals. Um, and an outdoor pool as well, where they serve dinner when the weather is, is good. There are two restaurants. The Bacchus restaurant, which is the, the gourmet restaurant. And then uh, the bistro, the brasserie, which has Quite similar food, actually, slightly more informal, but uh, you can mix and match when you eat out by the pool. Last night we had a menu which had things from dishes from both menus, and we could just chop and change. So a brilliant space. Over here, a TV, which I have to admit we haven't tried out, and a range of books. through to the sleeping area. Again, a very large bedroom. And more beams. I like the fact that you've got windows in both rooms, so if you want to fling open and have natural light, you can. But the shutters protect you from this light in the morning so you can sleep in, as in fact we did this morning, overslept, without being aware of what time it is, which is a nice thing to be able to do, not disturbed by the light. Another TV over here. Bed, as you can see, is quite traditional, has a mirrored back, quite dark wood, a sort of oriental feel to it. Very spacious cupboards. The cupboards are more modern, so I would say 1980s in style. And uh, we had robes left out on our on our bed when we arrived. We arrived very late at night, so I couldn't uh, show you the room when we arrived. So we had to to stay over before I could do it, because so I wanted to capture this beautiful light. If I was going to criticise, I'd say that. 
the, some of the furnishings are a little tired. The bedspread has some signs of wear in places. The robes are not fluffy. They look like they've, uh, they've been there a while. But it's been a very comfortable stay. And it's a, a brilliant size room. I like the, the use of the arches here. Sorry about the noise of that banging. It's typical that as soon as I start filming, things like that start happening. So, as you see, you can see through to the living area from there. It's, uh, it's, it's a nice design feature. Into the bathroom. Okay, so you have two basins. Quite sort of Jasper Conran look to the glass. Again, see what I mean about the, the towels. They're a little bit, a little bit tired. A good shower. The pressure is good and quite roomy. There's also a bath over here. It was in fact a jacuzzi. Jacuzzis are really not my thing. I just like bars to be simple, so I haven't tried this out, but you can see it's quite an involved one. A system pool, lots of different settings and bells and whistles, so if jacuzzi is your thing, I'm sure that'd be great. Uh, and then in here, so again, good size bathroom. These lovely arches again. Quite some sort of Moroccan influences, Moorish influences going on in, on in the hotel. In the Vespasian Spa there is a Moroccan treatment room. It is in fact the double treatment room. Uh, it has Moroccan style tiles. Some of the touches there may be a little dated for some taste. Things like the tissue box with the cover. Reed is, of course, the, the hotel where Mark Foch, Michelin starred, rest, uh, Michelin starred restaurateur, had uh, his star. He was here for, for 14 years and then left to set up his own businesses in Palma and now has three, three restaurants in Palma. So the restaurant doesn't have a Michelin star at the moment. Um, and the, the food has got, moved away from gourmet. That seems to be from talking to various people in, in Mallorca, the way that things are going at the moment, that hotels are uh, presenting slightly less formal food than maybe they have in the past and going for a more relaxed menu. So that is our room. This is suite nine at Reeds. And uh, I'd say the highlight of my stay has definitely been the treatment in the spa. Um, I'm not somebody that gets on with spa treatments, although I review spas, I find it difficult, particularly with facials, because I do have rosacea and uh, it can be very tricky trying out new products. But uh, I had the desensitizing facial, which is specifically aimed for sensitive skin, and it was extremely good. And I would, I would recommend that to anybody. My skin feels really plump and firm and uh, Although I'm, I'm melting in the heat today, it feels so much better. And not an ounce of redness after I had the treatment. So that for me is the measure of a, a, good, a good spa treatment. I'm going to take you around, around one last look at the bedroom. Not to mention the, the hotel has tiles all the way through. Downstairs in Brown's Bar, named I think after one of their pets, Mr. Brown, the dog. Um, there are very impressive murals, quite over the top murals. They may not be to everybody's taste, but they're, they're quite dramatic in the oldest part of the, the building, the, the Finca, the original Finca. And also what's lovely I've, I wanted to mention is that in the brasserie there are the remains of the original olive press. That's all been left there and it's, it's very beautiful. There's also even um, a chapel originally here, which although no longer a chapel still has that feel about it. 
So it's a very characterful, very interesting historic building. So thank you very much for having us read. We very much enjoyed our stay. I'm looking forward to, to exploring some more of Mallorca today.